Hello everyone, my name is Ramble Bro, and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Cave Story. We just saved Curly from drowning to death, and we're now going to get out of the waterway. She won't die now. No water's out of her, even though you're underwater. That works now, and... Yeah. So this part, you just want to avoid all the spikes. There's a boss fight coming up here, and if you complete the boss fight with no taking no damage, you get some little bonus item. I don't really care about that though. Um, it doesn't do anything, so I mean I will try, but if I don't do it, I'm not going to be too upset. Should have leveled this up. I really cared. boss is called Iron Head, and we defeated him. And now we're back in Mimica Village. And here we go. Now, first step, a couple things we gotta do here. Um, first step, walk in here, and we'll see Professor Booster. So, as you can see here, if you would have gone down and saved him the first time, you would have gotten something called the Booster Point Eight. I better read what he says. Hold on. The islands of Mimikas have, have all fallen into his hands, so the tragedy has become inevitable. I should have allowed at least Sue to escape when I had the chance. Got the Booster version 2.0. Please heed my last request. If you see Sue again, please, I want you to take her and flee the, this island. That girl is Sakamoto's daughter, and she never wanted to come here in the first place, but we couldn't leave the child all alone, so we, she had no choice but to come along with us. I beg you, that, take that girl with you and flee. So go into your inventory and activate this. If you would have gone and saved Professor Booster last t the the first time you had the opportunity to do so, he would have actually died, and you would have gotten a worse version of the booster, which in turn also prevents you from getting the best ending. But as you can see, you can, I'll show you what this does. You can propel yourself in one of four directions, and you run out of fuel. But when you touch the ground, you get the fuel back, and you can do this to have some extra fuel. It's a little trick if you sort of tap really fast instead of going straight up. Like, if you want to measure distance here, if I go straight up from here, I reach almost to that, but if I do this instead, I can well over hit it. And this will be familiar. This was the first cave of the game, if you recall. We're going here for a specific reason. Um, as you'll see in a moment. This is why we held off on trading in that polar star for so long for the machine gun and the snake. And after this you'll probably want to, if you watch this and see this, you'll, you'll probably want to do the same. Because you'll see what's gonna happen here. So if you recall, this is where we stole the gun from. But the man's actually awake now. You haven't seen the gun I made, have you? Someone went and stole it while I was sleeping. Dry, this is why I should have been keeping it in my pocket when I napped. Hey! Isn't that my gun? What are you doing with it? I didn't make it for you. Give it back. Polar Star, take it. Ha, see, you've certainly been giving my gun a workout. You know, I've long believed that one's weapon should be crafted by oneself. That one who fights with another weapon, is con and that considers that force his own, is witless. Though that one that blames his tools for that which his own power cannot achieve is a fool. However, when I see this gun before me that you've used so ex exhaustively, it moves in this man to tears. Think such thorough use were possible even before the gun's completion. Ha, ah, I apologize for my grumbling. You can keep this gun. After I finish it, of course. Polar Star became the spur. So the spur works differently than every other weapon in the game, where it is always level 1 no matter what XP you get, so you gotta hold down the shoot button, and you can actually level it up through all the levels. And there's three there's three different kinds of shots. Shooting at it right away is literally just level 3 Polar Star. Then you can get that shot, that shot, and then if you get all the way to... This is the one weapon where Max is actually something different. In this world, there exists a balance between those who are creators and those who are users. I knew that, of course, but it's not your help for me to experience this firsthand. 
From now on, I vow to dedicate myself to the side of creation. Labor involved becomes joy when I know there are so many who will enjoy my work at this. So now, there's a lot more enemies that are in here for some reason, so you can kind of just test out the gun, I guess. Obviously, they don't do very much damage because they're still early enemies, but... As you can see, the gun does quite a lot of damage. Alright, we got this part finished up, so now we're gonna move on through. Save the game here. So you got the booster and the spur. Both very helpful. It says head to egg corridor. But before we do that, we're gonna do a little bit of an extra side quest here. We're gonna head into the labyrinth. This is totally optional, um, but I love doing this. It it's pretty cool, so you'll you'll see in a second. Uh, but it's not in any way necessary. But it's you get an item and it's pretty cool. It's not like a weapon or anything, but it's still pretty cool. And I recommend you get it. And yeah, there's some extra enemies that spawn in here now that you have this weapon too. And this booster makes things a lot easier. And if you didn't pick up the arm barrier before, you can go ahead and do that now. So you're going to want to head back over to the shop. Or you were gonna trade him for the snake before, but now I'll be saying something slightly different here. Okay, so go ahead and talk to him. Hey there. This is the Labyrinth Shop, but sorry to say we got burgled a while back, and there's nothing to sell right now. Sorry about that. Sigh. So here, how about this? Not the whimsical star. Just a decoration, I'm afraid, but you already got the strongest weapon, so what else can I do? A little trick he got from the Chavo in the Labyrinth, the Whimsical Star. Do you want to remove it? No. So basically how it works is each level you get your weapon up, it has one more star around you, so you can have a total of three, and they just do a little bit of extra damage to enemies. Nothing really that useful, but you can see them here in a second. Once I get up to level three, Max, there they are. The little stars floating around me. Pretty cool. But, again, entirely optional. Now I'm gonna just get healed up here. <laughs> Still talking as if Curly's in here, but she's not. Um, alright. I need to get out of here and head back. I still haven't died yet, guys. It's pretty amazing. I haven't had a run on the game like this, ever. I, I will for sure die at some point. There's no way I can make it through a whole game without any deaths. But, I can hope. Alright, so now we're gonna head back through here. back now. says, I think I'm gonna cut this episode now, uh, a little bit short, because if I go on any longer, it's gonna start a new area, but words light up the screen, head for the egg quarter. So that's where we're gonna be heading next, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, stay tuned for more, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what game you want me to play, and I can get on it. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.